This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Mick Garris. About a decade ago, I was asked to direct a version of Arthur Conan Doyle's Hound of the Baskervilles, uh, and I was tempted to do it. But we're going to take a look at the trailer for the 1959 Hammer version of the story, the reason I turned it down. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Hound of the Baskervilles has been filmed countless times, and once I rewatched this version, I realized that with a production based in Montreal and a very limited budget, it would be hard to justify yet another remake, and this very polished version would be hard to beat. First of all, it had the cream of Hammer's horror team involved. Director Terence Fisher and stars Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. It's also got a plot and twist ending so ancient and familiar that I thought it would be impossible to surprise a modern audience with it. This production is really a beautifully shot one, utilizing a lot of the sets familiar from Hammer's Bray Studios location. The exterior of the Baskerville Mansion is the same building as Dracula's Castle. Jack Asher, father to the actress and former Paul McCartney girlfriend Jane Asher, was the cinematographer, and James Bernard did the gorgeous and powerful score, again, the best that the Hammer Studios had to offer. Cushing makes a great Holmes, though at the time his portrayal was far afield from the cozier performances by Basil Rathbone. Cushing's Holmes was pricklier, colder, even arrogant, much more in line with the character from the book. Several years later, he reprised the role for a BBC Sherlock Holmes series. He and Andre Morel, who played Watson, seemed to be the quintessential film versions of the characters, though Christopher Plummer and James Mason surely gave them a run for their money in Murder by Decree. But that was not based on one of Doyle's original stories. Even though it's really a mystery story, Hammer did everything it could to make it seem like a horror tale. The mysterious British moors, the howls of the mad dog at night, attacks by tarantula, a ritual human sacrifice, a mines cave in, but for the most part it's a pretty faithful movie to its source material. The director Terence Fisher had done countless horror films for Hammer, including their original Frankenstein and Dracula films. His final film as a director was Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell in 1974. Ah!